Evening guys, uh, update on my uh, brewing setup. Um, it's in a slightly different mode to normal, but I've just um, made this. Uh, well, I bought this unit um, probably six months ago. I just never uh, pulled my finger out and put it together. But it's a, um, a temperature heating and cooling temperature controller as. Uh, I think you can see here, temp, temp setting, so that's what I want. The differential setting, so how high the side of that, uh, whether it's cooling or heating. Um, it's uh, low at the moment because I'm crash chilling an ale. Um, uh, yeah, and I put on some switches on the front to um, independently turn the uh, heating and cooling off. It's still after that uh, unit, so the uh, it's just if this if this is telling it to heat and cool, I can turn the fridge or the heater off. Um, on the back, just put two sockets on the back. Heat's not plugged in at the moment, as I said, because I'm crash crash chilling, and I'm using the fan on my little heating unit to uh, help cool a bit quicker. Using that's the power supply for that. My fridge is plugged in here. Um, I'm thinking about putting in another um, uh, another socket in the back of the uh, this controller to um, uh, run the fan continuously. But inside the fridge, um, it's the ale chilling. Um, the thermometers on the side. So I have the uh, temperature of the actual beer, or well, close enough. Um, that's my heating unit. Inside there it's just part of an um, electric blanket, I think I got it off. Um, kind of all coiled up there, with it. it's in a CPU or, uh, from an old um, computer case. The uh, um, that that bolted onto the side of the case, um, and then that channel there down over the CPU cooler out the front here. So it's just got a computer fan. And um, the reason the fan's shielded on in the back is uh, I was actually using this to um, uh, incubate quail. So when they hatch, they didn't get into the fan and die, which unfortunately happened to one of them. Um, so uh, I've uh, covered that up quite well. Um, it's in the incubator, I also keep it uh, separated as well. It's just in case I get through the separation. But there you go. That's my uh, fermenting fridge now. Yeah?